Hello, my name is Marilsa Vera Cunha Hood, and the work I'm presenting is this association between gestational diabetes mellitus and pregnancy specific urinary incontinence, severity, and impact on the quality of life over the first year postpartum. First of all, I would like to present myself. I'm a professor from the Department of Gynecology and Obstetrics at Botucatu Medical School of São Paulo State University. Also, um, I am a coordinator of Geomater Study Group, and our thematic project is founded by São Paulo Research Foundation. In the light of the complex interrelationship among the diabetes mellitus, pregnancy, and urinary incontinence, the hypothesis was that gestational diabetes mellitus associated, uh, is associated with uh, a pregnancy specific urinary incontinence, will increase the occurrence and severity of urinary incontinence, having a negative impact in quality of life during pregnancy and up to 12 month, months postpartum. The end of this study was to investigate the severity impact of the urinary incontinence and quality of life of diabetic pregnant women over one year follow-up period. This cross-sectional study was conducted in the Perinatal Diabetes Research Center. Uh, 388 women were evaluated at five time points, uh, 24 to 28 gestational weeks, 20, uh, 34 to 38 gestational weeks, 24 to 48 hours postpartum, 6 weeks postpartum, and 6 to 12 months postpartum. The diagnosis of gestational diabetes uh, was established between uh, 24th to uh, end 28th gestational weeks with 75 GOGTT test, according to a other criteria. Urinary continence was defined according to the International uh, uh, continent Society and the severity and impact of quality of, uh, impact on quality of life were evaluated by urinary incontinence severity index and the international hostation on international questionnaire short form. From the data, the pregnant woman, woman were class, classified into two groups: normoglycemic incontinence and diabetic incontinence. And the normoglycemic incontinence and diabetic uh, incontinence groups were compared using the KISPAR test for categorical. Uh, variables and student tests for quantitative variables. Uh, the table 1 indicates that in incontinence data and questionnaire responses, uh, the response to ISI and PCSF questionnaires showed greater severity com combined with, the, with greater bother score in diabetic women in all time points indicate greater greater uh, severity impact of urinary incontinence. The third term of CKSF also demonstrates higher impact of urinary incontinence on quality of life in diabetic women expected at visit 4. The figure 1 shows the classification of urinary incontinence, uh, letter A, and its impact on the quality of life, letter B. Uh, pregnancy specific urinary ingestational diabetic women uh, cause distress in a sev uh, severe and very severe form, A, as well as had sever uh, se severe and very severe impact of urinary incontinence on quality of life. The pregnancy specific urinary incontinence ingestational hyperglycemic women also the occurrence and severity of urinary incontinence and affect their quality of life proportionally to the severity of symptoms and in impaired of impairment over the first year postpartum. So we conclude that diabetic pregnant women tended to exhibit more severe symptoms of pregnancy, specific urinary incontinence, as well the worse quality of life, impact on quality of life during pregnancy, with a excessive tendency to show a similar reaction over the first year postpartum. This study not only contradicts the old conception that the effect of GDM vanishes soon after delivery, but also reinforces the positive interaction between GDM and pregnancy, specific urinary incontinence, and long-term maternal outcome. Thank you.